While tap strafing has become one of the most popular movement techniques in Apex, it's not always the best option. While tap strafing can be effective, it's also a well-known technique that many players have learned to counter. So if you want to take your movement and gameplay to the next level, it's time to learn some alternative strafing techniques to turn you into an absolute god. And there's one specific strafe that I basically do all the time. And this strafe is so good that it's basically helped me maintain a 10 KD. It's kept me alive so many times. But before we get into that, I'm going to tell you what not to do. You need to stop crouch spamming, okay? I see so many people crouch spamming, even a lot of good players for some reason just spamming their crouch all the time. Guys, crouch spamming puts your head at a center target. And as you can see from the current clip, it looks like my head is just ducking down. And that's what it looks like when you crouch spam. It's not effective at all. And instead of spamming your crouches, try timing them instead. Now stop doing strafes that are too close together because at that point, there's no point of strafing at all. You might as well be standing still. The most effective and simple strafe you can do is long, unpredictable strafes. Because bear in mind, the closer your strafes are together, the easier it is for you to be hit. And you don't even need to like crouch at all when doing this. Now there is a special strafe I want to show you that only works on Octane. And the reason you have to play Octane is because he has the ability to insta slide. Now insta sliding is exactly what it is. You slide instantly without any momentum. You basically slide from a standstill. It basically looks like this. That example was okay, but you can do it even faster than that. Like literally you stand up and instantly stim and slide. And you just want to use that in a strafe. So you insta slide, cancel the insta slide and move the other direction. I try my best to quickly face the direction I want to slide. And then I look back at the enemy as quick as I can. Now, even with this simple version, it makes it very hard for the enemy to hit you. And to that strafing technique I just showed you, you should add jumping as well. It may sound simple, but it's probably one of the most effective things you can do. But you have to make sure you don't overdo it because when you spam jump, it basically just slows you down. There's one more special trick with Octane that can actually be done with everyone else, but it works better on Octane because you can do it faster, obviously, with a stim. I'm going to try explaining it the best I can. It's where as you're jumping and you land, whatever way you face your stick is the direction you're going to land and slide. And as you're sliding, if you jump twice, it basically launches you a little bit and makes you even faster. And it looks like this, okay? Maybe you looking at it will just help you understand what the hell I'm talking about. So you stim, jump, and then slide, and then you jump, jump. That, that, that's all it is. You can see my controller cam. You can see all the buttons I'm pressing while I'm doing it. It's really not that difficult. Now imagine doing what I just showed you, plus the insta slide, plus the unpredictable strafing. You're going to be better than 99% of the people who play Apex because 99% of them don't know how to strafe. Whenever I see someone strafing like this, I have a much harder time killing them than I do someone who's tap strafing. Tap strafing is only really effective when running away and like trying to get around the corner really quickly. That's the best thing about tap strafing that nothing else can really replicate. And another good quick tip with Octane is when you're landing after using a jump pad, make sure you try landing on the edge of something, on like an edge of a box or like the ledge of a cliff because it will launch you and you'll go so much further just like this remember guys no matter how good you strafe you also have to be hitting your shots but i guarantee you if you follow this video and do the strafes that i taught you you will never die again but the key to improvement is playing a lot that's literally it there's no secret tip you just got to play the game a lot and switch the controller that's it 4-3 linear it's the only way